Okay, hey folks, welcome to Rusty and Nelly's Jungle. Today's video, I'm going to try and make it as quick as possible, is going to be about propagating Hoya, Macrophilia, and Variegata. Same, same procedure. Okay, so we're going to keep this as quick as possible. And Nelly is my cameraman. Sorry, yeah, camera. Sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry, camera person. Apologize. Okay, and first I'm going to show you the mother plant and we're going to take a clipping there and we're going to go through the whole process and we're going to show you the finished product. Stay with us. Okay, uh, folks. Why do you have scissors over there? We're going to be clipping. Nelly hates when we clip. Come on, come on closer. Wait, yeah. mm -hmm. I know, this is for only for educational purposes. Nellie hates propagation, so we're just gonna take a tiny, tiny clip. We can see this is, this is the, our mother um, Hoya macrophilia, and you can see it all here, and some beautiful leaves. There's two actually in the pot. One's a macrophilia, and one's a macrophilia variegata. So we're simply going to find a spot like this that's got, you know, one to two leaves, I'm gonna try and make this as quick as possible. We wanna cut it so that we have a good stem, like that. <sighs> I know, she's, but, but you want a good stem. The roots are actually gonna come out from all over the stem. So that's why it's tough to put the root hormone because they're not gonna come out right down at the bottom. Let's go back over to the, okay. So we've taken our clipping and we're just gonna simply put it in water like that. We're gonna have either outdoor window light, uh, sunlight coming in through the window, it can have direct light, or we're gonna put this under a grow light, probably six inches above the leaves. We want nice warm temperature, we don't want cold, minimum 70 degrees, closer to 80 degrees is perfect. In two weeks, we took these two weeks ago, and this is what you're gonna get. So come on in here, camera. And this is what you can expect in about two weeks. You're going to see tons of roots and they're coming out, not just from the nodes, they're coming out from all over. That's why it's tough with the root hormone to decide where you're going to put it. You can dip the whole thing on it, I guess. But you can see this, this is the other clipping. And you can see they're going to come all over the root, not just at the bottom. So what have you. And this, We'll compare that to this. You can see what we're going to expect is roots to come out all throughout that. And that's about two weeks worth of growth. This one has done a little bit more roots and what have you. Okay, so we've taken these out. We're just going to use a regular soil mix. Nothing fancy. It's, it's, this is just the intermediate stage. And, um, just got a little bit of soil on Nellie's. Very, very simple. Something like this. And we'll pop the other one up really quickly. A little bit of soil in there. The roots have come right down to the bottom, so this is gonna be a tougher one to do. But I will clean them off. I don't need anything fancy here. The key to this is we want to, these are water roots that we have on them. So water roots, if we were just to put that in a soil, dry dry or a little bit moist soil solution, they will dry out the roots. Because they're water roots, we want to do a slow transition to a, uh, a soil root. So we want to keep them quite moist, um, overly moist, because it, it, it just came from the water. So almost like a swampy mixture. We do that for about two weeks and then we, lesson off on the water and that is it for that i just wanted to quickly show you oops i just wanted to quickly show you come on in here and check out this if you have a leaf come on in it's not this plant this is syngonium and we've just got i had a plant growing and had an extra couple leaves so i thought ah we'll just throw them in the spag of moss and you can see that's a macrophilia there and i'm just gonna find it is so rooted, This it, it's just a leaf. I don't even really want to pull it out. And the same as this carry eye. I'm going to see if I can find the bottom. 
But you can see, I just stuck a leaf in the sphagnum. There, now you can see. Just a leaf in the sphagnum, and it's rooted right down. This one, for, you know, for the purpose of this video, I'm actually going to pull it out. So I might break a couple of leaves. This is not the way you'd want to do it, but... So you can see the macrophilia. You can see just from sticking. So if you're, don't be afraid if you just have a leaf that cut, <laughs> sorry. If you just have a leaf that uh, no big stem, that's fine. Put it in sphagnum and um, keep that moist. And guess what? You will have a little baby macrophilia. Oh yeah. Okay, so there's the two methods. I would recommend the water method. You're gonna get vigorous roots. Uh, vigorous roots and I would cut it off. That's probably about uh, two and a half inches mm, Yeah, maybe closer to three inches have a nice long stem like you saw on those You're gonna get lots of roots and then once you transplant it the, the, the plant is gonna take off So anyway, that is a nice quick video on how to prop or how we propagate not how to how we propagate Hoya macrophila. There's lots of ways. We found this the best method. Okay, so <laughs> I have no idea what I'm saying here. Okay, so make sure you like this channel and subscribe to us. It'll really spur us on to make more videos. We've got lots of educational videos, a lot of fun videos, and we've got a ton of plants. And um, so anyway, like this channel, subscribe, and we're gonna see you next time. Take care, bye. Don't forget to like those videos that you enjoy watching so we know what to put more of. You heard it from the cameraman, camera person, <laughs> camera person. <laughs> Oh my gosh, pronouns. Okay, take Hi, care, guys. You're going back to a class. <laughs> See ya.